Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Baited Podcast. I'm your host, Colossal is Crazy, and we're joined here once again by Chad and a thing for views. What up? And DJ, Killer Keemstar. What is up, my people? Oh, your people. Where are they going to be your people, Keem? Anyway. Let my people go. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Anyway, listen, I'm a bit frustrated. I've woken up today to all this bullshit from Chubbs. I've been seeing it for the past few days. And oh, God. Let, no, okay. Let me just first of all say it's complete not a bullshit. And people should not be justifying this guy's actions. This guy blatantly scammed a 12-year-old out of his pocket money, yet there are people rushing to his defense to say what he did was just a mistake. It's just a mistake. I'm sorry, but a mistake is when you stub your toe or you break a fucking glass. This dickhead had it planned out for months. He's been doing it for months. He's been ignoring the kid for months. And I find it really scummy that it wasn't until someone brought it to light with an exposed video, then he decides to try to rectify his... Well, there's no proof mistake. it's intentional or not, but intentional it, it, or unintentional, it, it, it's safe to say it's a scam. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is a scam. And he, he, had a, he had so much time to rectify the situation, even after he was exposed. But real quick, for anybody that's listening to this podcast that doesn't understand what's going on, Chubbs is a YouTuber with like 600,000 subscribers. And basically what happened is, is he had a video edited for a CSGO gambling site. And he had a 12-year-old edit the video for him. Now, for this said video, all right, Chubbs made $5,000 from that sponsorship. So he had money from that video. He offered the editor only $30, but then still didn't even give him that $30. Well, apparently the kid wasn't getting paid or it didn't seem like he was getting paid. So the kid asked for a favor in return. He asked Chubbs if Chubbs would be in one of his videos, if Chubbs would give him like a couple minutes of audio to be in the kid's own video. You know, this would be a good opportunity for him. And Chubbs replied to this kid, again, who has already edited a video for for free for him at this point, or it was supposed to be thirty dollars, but never paid him. But Chubb's response is bit, bit of fucking context. He did offer to pay this kid thirty dollars at first, but the kid refused it at first. And then, and then later, the kid wanted it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just so we got that straight. But regardless, the kid then asked for a favor back, and Chubb's charges him a hundred and fifty dollars to appear in his video to give him some audio. Which is kind of fucked up, all right, in my opinion. Now, Clown, I know you said that you'd charge the kid too, but, like, the, would you do it in the same circumstance? Well, I wouldn't have taken the money before I'd done the work, and I wouldn't have charged exactly. him if he'd already exactly. done this work for exactly. me. Exactly. Yeah, no, and, I would and have charged all... him, like, $2 a word, something like and that. And not only that, real quick question, why the fuck does a YouTube channel with 660,000 subscribers have a fucking editor in the first place? Like, uh, let alone a 12-year-old. I mean, it's even funnier due to the fact that he's 12 years old. Like, 700,000 subscriber YouTuber has a 12-year-old It's, it's, fu it's a joke. It's, it's fucking a fucking hilarious. joke. But anyhow, all right, so Chubbs charges the kid $150. And when the kid complains that he's not getting the audio because Chubbs never sends him the fucking audio for the video, uh, Chubbs goes and ask his, asks him for another $50. Tried to get $200 out of the fucking kid. All right. This was around October. It is now December, almost January, and the kid still hasn't got paid. So a guy called Idnapper made a video exposing all of this. Now, when I saw this, I was like, fuck Chubbs. This is some fucked up shit. I'm going to run this on Drama Alert. And all today on Drama Alert, or excuse me, on just like Twitter, there's been a battle whether or not you know, this was a mistake or, you know, is Chubbs really sorry because Chubbs put on an apology or whatever? No. And it's just like... It was it was damage ahead, control. Ahead. It was damage control. It took it took an exposed video and several other people calling him out on Twitter to try rectify what he had done. And once again, not a mistake. That is not what a mistake is. He had no intentions of doing this audio for the kid. In my opinion, you don't opinion. have the proof I, though, not Chad. Proven. You don't have. I know. I said in. I know Chubbs though. I fucking know him. I know this dickhead. There's a reason why I cut ties with him. Stop talking to me. I know this kid. Had Chubbs, I'm referring to Chubbs, did not have any intention of recording this audio. In his head, he thought it was a big fucking joke. He's like, well, just got money. This kid's pocket money. Gonna go buy my mum a good Christmas present with it. 
I know Chubbs to be a leech because I've seen it firsthand. I've seen him just like leeching off a of fucking Adam. And Adam, so for some Sky reason... Sky does Minecraft or Net Nobody. For those yeah, yeah. Net Nobody, Sky does Minecraft, Adam. Like, basically, Chubbs lived at Adam's house for free. Adam paid for everything. And during this time, Chubbs literally just stopped uploading YouTube videos because he didn't need money. He was living off of fucking Adam. All right? And look, dude... I, I've said something about it publicly, and Adam's mad at me that I'm saying something about it publicly. Adam doesn't feel like he was used, and that's his right to not feel that way. But as a friend of Adam's, uh, Adam was going through a hard time. He was, like, very, very uh, depressed. There was horrible shit going on in his personal life, and all he needed was someone to be there for him. And the people that were there for him were people that he had to fucking pay to be there. And it was just fucked up that Chubbs wouldn't pay for himself during this situation. And multiple people, I know Chad is one of them, myself included, and many other people told Adam, these people are taking advantage of you. And he just, he didn't see it. All right? And... To this day, I don't think he sees it. But so I've, 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 because I've seen this firsthand with my own eyes, I've, I've known this about Chubbs is that first of all, he's fake nice. And on top of that, that he's a leech, that he takes advantage of people. So this scenario right here backs up every bias I ever had about him because now he's taken advantage yeah, in some of way a fucking 12 year point because both of these situations are in direct parallel with each other. Several I'm reading through like some of my replies on Twitter to the situation. I just think some people are fucking stupid. Although I agree with what you've said, so this person's already agreed with me. I think Keemstar has blown the whole situation out of proportion. I'm like, no, this has come to light so that people can see how scummy people are for camera and they shouldn't be taking after these people and using and looking up I, to I them. I think you I've know? said this many times, but when you There's fuck it, up, like... you deserve to get called out for that fuck up. And the more exactly. publicity that receives the better the outcome. No, but that but the these the these commentary people are like, oh, Keemstar's just milking it. Keemstar is blowing it out of situation. Look, do, go look at I want all you commentator tater people to go look at your videos. What are your videos about? Primarily, most of your videos, Chubbs included, is you calling out other people for making mistakes. You know, if KSI did this thing, right? If KSI scammed a 12-year-old like this that edit one of his videos, every single one of you fucking commentators would make a video and there would be no mercy. There would be no buts. It would be KSI is a fucking scumbag for scamming this fucking 12-year-old. But somehow, because Chubbs is a commentator, because he's one of us, there's buts. Like, but the kid is just trying to get attention. Leafy, or we haven't talked about him for a while he's yeah, a real quick real YouTuber, quick bro and i seem to recall this 20 fucking dollar meme very similar to what chubbs has done every commentator was shitting on leafy at the time and i think probably chubbs was as well i can't really remember but when chubbs is doing it not such a big deal anymore apparently not one fucking no it's person it's worse with chubbs that. because at least at least no. leafy paid the 20 dollars. exactly so in yeah. fact what chubbs has done is fucking worse Total yeah, double yeah. Leafy paid. Leafy paid. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the guy's name. What's this guy's name? Nick Cash. Leafy paid Nick Cash twenty dollars. All right, to edit a video for him. Nick Cash thought that that money wasn't fair enough, and he made a video fucking calling out Leafy. And everybody agreed at that time that Leafy is a piece of shit that took advantage of Nick Cash. All right. Now, Chubbs did this to a twelve year old and didn't even pay him. Where is the fucking outrage? Not one person I am made that Alex. comparison yet. Everybody's right? got fucking short-term memory loss or something. That fucking Ice Age think, motherfucker, though. I am Alex, had the audacity to fucking... Because I basically called out all commentators on Twitter. I said, all you commentators uh, should be making videos about Chubbs and calling him out. Because if anyone else would have done this, you would have done it, right? And this fucking asshole thinks I'm talking about him. You're not the only commentator, I am Alex. And I wasn't having a go at you. But since you're so fucking naive and so fucking stupid and self-centered to respond to that that res to response thinking i'm talking about you when you responded to me on twitter you said this alex all right you said i've known about this situation since october and i've been telling chubbs since october to pay the kid 
All right. I'm on your side with this, Keemstar. Really? Really? You've known about it since October and you didn't say anything publicly? You knew. It's a private conversation. You, you can't knew. release that shit publicly. He knew that the child, he knew that the kid involved was 12 years old and he knew that the kid wasn't being paid and the audio wasn't being sent. He knew all this. And listen, if you are such an honest and good guy with your fucking audience, I am Alex. Why didn't you fucking make a video on fucking Chubbs? Because you made videos on fucking uh, all these other YouTubers when they mess up. But you knew, you knew Chubbs was messing up. You knew for months that he was scamming over this 12 year old and whether not, it was really private stop right. interrupting me you can you can talk when i'm done clown he <laughs> had so never why the fuck why the fuck does chubbs get special fucking privileges in fairness in fairness he knew it, it was private and he didn't want to leak private information or he shouldn't be obligated to re leak private information right that's what you're trying to make the point of right i mean that's half well if it, what else, what if it was, was private say, information about rice gum he would have leaked it if it was private information about anyone else he would have fucking leaked it maybe all right you have <laughs> a channel know, it was a private conversation you have a channel secondly in any case you while he's having this conversation i can't even he's finish actively God, telling chubbs to pay the money to this kid so alex hasn't really fucked up here and that's why you don't really have a point my point is, is he should have fucking made an exposed video on Chubbs. Like, it should have came from I Am Alex. He had the information before anyone. Why didn't he make a fucking video? For all the reasons I just said. Okay, so if you tell me something in private, something where you fucked up in, you're cool with me making a video about that. If it's then. like me scamming kids, yeah, you you better betray me for that one. Okay. Oh, we had to hear you, you better betray me for that one. All right. It's, I'll bear it in it, mind. It's... It's it's a conflict of interest, man. Like you, you, you're, he's friend. They're openly friends. They're openly friends on Twitter. Like there was nothing to warrant it. Because to, to them, as a friendship, it'd feel like a backstabbing if he did that to Chubbs. It would have been, yeah. I'm not a fan of people that leak that kind of shit. And again, mm. you know, he was telling Chubbs to pay the kid at the time in these private conversations. I really don't see how he's done anything wrong here. Yeah, I, I think Alex is a complete fucking idiot. All right, I think he's I an idiot as well. But that's not really the point, is it? Because he hasn't. Yeah, done don't, 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 sorry, don't throw I'm, him on the bus with Chubbs. Chubbs is, not, Chubbs is riding the bus alone. It's a guy that scammed a fucking twelve-year-old. Okay. Okay. It's it's just so everyone understands, like, I'm going to be starting my words and probably not getting everything out right because it is 6 a.m. in the morning here. And because these fuckers want to live on the other side of the fucking world and I have to go around their schedule somehow when they're fucking We're so the much ones goddamn to your irrelevant schedule. compared your to me. Schedule. Bullshit. It's 6 a.m. You set the fucking times. Oh, Every time. Bullshit. Oh, fucking bull. Chad, back me Listen. up here. Is he or is he not the one that sets the time every fucking time? Right, I have right, to set right. the times around you. He, I have he to does, set the times he around you. He does set the times, but he does stay up. For, he, he only stays up because he wants to stay up. Keeping us in mind. We're, we're just the ones that have to stay up with him, depending on his fucking sleep schedule. Keem, is your sleep schedule fucked right now? Okay, I go to bed at midnight. I am up an extra six hours today. Is your sleep schedule fucked right now? Yes, because of this baby <laughs> podcast. God bless well, you. Well, no, my no, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. My sleep schedule is fucked right now because I normally go to bed at midnight and I'm up another six hours. Do you get what I'm saying? For you, <laughs> you must be fucking joking. You are not fucking up your entire body clock. Yes, I course. am. That's yes, I am. A lie. That is not a lie. It is 6.18 a.m. right now. Oh, my God. Keemstar, you're so selfless. You're so I mean, fucking he, selfless. He did stay up just to do this podcast tonight. He could have gone to bed. We could have done this tomorrow. I'm just saying. He's the one that set the time. I said we could have done it tomorrow. No, no. He's no, the because, one that No, to listen to me. Listen to me. Now. Listen to me. This is a topical issue, all right? People are interested in this story. And by the time you take these fucking audio files to your third world nation inside your little hut with your little stray dogs and you say, hmm, maybe I should put these three audio files together. <laughs> 
fucking Shout eight hours like later that. or fucking three days later or 40 days later, whenever we get the audio, it's going to be too fucking late. The podcast is going to come out and no one's going to give a fuck about Chubbs. He's already going to have lost a half a million subs. His channel's going to be in the fucking pits. The story is done and over with and no one is even going to want to dance on his goddamn grave because you took so goddamn long to get put it out. So I know that you're going to be late. I know you're not going to get this video out fast enough. So I have to fucking stay up just to get a day ahead of the already being late. I yeah, I agree. I agree with him. Okay, but let's let all right. Let's just cool the jets. We'll do this off podcast. But let's revisit the point that Chubb scammed a fucking kid, and that people should not be looking up to this person taking Sanford for it. And on top of that, I really hate fans that are so stupid that they, they think they think they can justify the situation by saying. Oh, it was a mistake. At least he owned up to it. It wasn't him owning owning up to it. It was him doing damage control. That's all I just it think is. The Leafy because comparison is fucking. He had every opportunity to apologize. Shat on Leafy, and it's taken this long for people to work out that there's not that big of a I difference. Think, I think I think I'm sorry, Clan. You can look at this and laugh. And the, and these are the very same commentators that were calling him out back in the day. When, when you look at them and what they do, how dissimilar are they really? The the content isn't better. They're not better as creators. They're not better as fucking people. You know what's funny? That whole community is dying. But you know who isn't? Kavas. And you know oh, who isn't? God. Aiden. Yeah, your little creation. Rowing. I've said this to you before, Keem. No problems with Kavos. But if you think his content is significantly better than everyone else's, you're fucking deluded, mate. It's really not that much better. It's just not. You just like it because he calls out the people that you want called out. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, but the content because, itself is not significantly better than everyone else's. It's just no, his no, his, no, his content is good. No, his content is good. I'm not saying but it's listen, bad, he, here's but the you main problem on a pedestal because it benefits you. Here, he, here's the problem. Here's the problem with the commentary community. All right, the commentary community, as people know it today, was created uh, pretty much by Pyrocynical. Pyrocynical got a little bit of uh, attention, a little bit of clout. He started growing. And then what he did for a form of protection, Wait, he promoted protection? them. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it was a it was a strategical move. No fucking was it. He's just a nice guy that wanted to help people out. Oh, he's not fact. a he's not a nice guy. I know that for a fact. Yeah, he's he's a he's a pathological liar and a manipulator. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, he is. No, There's he no pathologically lied that he's a and manipulated. Fucking the, liar. No, he, he, he did manipulate and lie with that video that he made on me. Like, that was just that he did. He audit, he edited it and fucking uh, changed clips around to make it me say things that I wasn't saying. Uh, he publicly said that I went on his... It was his, Leafy and Grades videos he, you had a problem he, with, he, not his. Pyrocynical told everybody that, um, you know, I went on his private Facebook and stole his private pictures and released them when none of that was true whatsoever. He literally was playing the fucking victim. He was literally playing the victim and trying to get everyone to feel sorry for the fucking lesbian little what the fuck? fat faced fuck. He was trying to make everyone feel sorry for him. Right. Just because he's fucking ugly and ashamed of his own face. Not my fault, bro. Oh, your, so your face was already publicly out there, Pyro. Yeah, it was already out there. People were tweeting it. I didn't get it from your private Facebook. I don't even go on Facebook. You just made that up to just try to seem like a little fucking a little victim. And the big bad Keemstar was coming after you. And you know what? That manipulation worked. And that type of fucking content and that type of manipulation and scamming and altering the facts it trickled down to every single commentator that you promote it and that you build up and the reason why the commentary community is so shitty is because they are all little fucking pyros you're all garbage all right and your whole little fucking cult following bullshit that you got going on is dying and the people that i'm bringing up right now are doing pretty fucking good well i mean i helped build that community too so why yes, don't you, you helped doing it but i stole you from that community because you're actually a good dude you didn't steal me from shit you deluded fuck stolen you fucking pyro bitch. clown is mine bitch <laughs> you you what are truly deluded. what is he property i i actually i actually really don't even have a problem with pyro anymore but i just kind of got on a good rant and i couldn't stop myself i could yeah, care less full of it. but uh he's a nice guy i i don't like him for those reasons that i just stated but you know whatever if you're friends with him a friend of a friend whatever I, i'll i'll make peace oh well that's but good the, but but what i said about him and that like community that he built all right i feel like that community of commentators that he brought up uh has done a giant disservice to the cod i agree, community, I agree but not all of them 
Everybody says that now. It's fucking pathetic. Don't say all of them, just say some. Or, or the majority even. I'd agree with the majority, but not all. That's some fucking weak shit. I'm I'm completely oh. I'm I'm completely disconnected from this conversation because while you guys were fighting, uh, however many months ago, I was eating cake with a bunch of other people's pubes in it. Yeah, we know. Ew. And it was fucking great. It was fucking great. But can we can we revisit back to like? I'm sorry. I want to get a point across where like fans try to justify like uh, people's quote unquote mistakes, saying it's a bad thing. A mistake, I think, has been... The word mistake has been really misconstrued in these situations. A mistake is where... Misconstrued. Mis- is that the right word? Sorry, I'm not big with I'm words, sorry, but... Clown. Clown, isn't oh. this the third time Chad has made this point? I think it is. No, I'm getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting to the main to point. Fair, I never got to the main the point. Fuck off topic, and Chad's just... Okay, yeah. we, okay we, won't trying, trying, we won't I'm interrupt trying to get you. A, I'm go, trying to go, get go, us go. rolling again. All I'm trying to say is that these followers should not be saying it's a mistake. When Dr. Disrespect cheated on his wife, you know how many people backed him saying, oh, it was just a mistake. I'm sorry, but you don't, a mistake, you, you don't plan out fucking a chick for months and then do it. And then when there's evidence behind you doing it, you come out as damage control again, just saying, oh yeah, I cheated on my wife. Sorry. Like, <sighs> sorry. I'm just a bit pissed off about it. I agree, Chad. It's a fuck up, not a mistake. And the idiots really mm. need. And to there's no owning up to it. There's no. There's no redemption from situations like this. I don't. I don't feel like there is. Well, you can either choose to forgive them or you choose not to. That's just. Uh, <sighs> that's just your prerogative. And with this Chubb situation, same scenario. You choose to forgive Chubb or you choose not to. There's no right or wrong decision there, since it's mm, I, kind of based on personal preference. Dude, guys, listen. I. I'm just gonna say this to you right now. I know there's a lot of people listening to us right now that uh want to be a youtuber like it's your dream to be a youtuber if you are lucky enough to get an opportunity to be successful doing this it's a fucking dream job it's a lot of work but it's a dream job like you literally get to be rich and famous if you, whoa, whoa, if whoa, you whoa, whoa. become a, a fucking successful youtuber you did get you, to be rich and famous did, so if you're lucky enough to get this opportunity like it, why would you fucking shit on it like or, or shit on someone else and take advantage of a smaller YouTuber or a fan of yours? And that's exactly what Chubbs did. And I feel like that type of behavior right there, like because it, it ruins the whole sense of community that we have as YouTubers. I feel like that type of behavior right there, like it is unforgivable. Like, I don't I, I think agree. you should. This, this shit makes everyone in the community look bad. Like it's bullshit that it does, but it does. I just don't know how you can blame Pyrocynical for it. It's not really his fault that these people fucked it up for everyone else. Pyrocynical did build up a bunch of those people, all right? He did help out small YouTubers, just like I've helped out small YouTubers, right? But the only difference is, is I think Pyro did that strategically. I think he didn't do it out of the goodness of his heart. I feel like he did it strategically. How exactly does he benefit? Well, uh, who calls Pyro out on anything that he does wrong? Nobody. Well, what's he done wrong? Yeah. Cause he, cause he built them all. He literally built them all. You're not really making any sense. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what he's done wrong recently. I, I think what makes I think what makes a good a good like person and, in the commentary and, community or even just a good friend in general and, is when and, you can call a friend out on that bullshit and you can't have a personal vendetta from it and you can grow from that and you can learn from that and you can improve your content from it. In this situation. Uh, it's it's nothing like that. It's just. What are you talking about, Chad? I'm, I don't know where I was going with that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> my my point is, if you want to, if tomorrow, I mean, if I, I tom- was, if I, 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 I was... if tomorrow I called out Clown for making shit content and he held it against me, blocked me on Twitter, and started making exposed videos on me, then yeah. But if I call Clown out on his bullshit, he goes, okay, thanks for your input, Chad. I'm gonna use that to improve my fucking content. Yeah, Kim did it to me the other day. I didn't give a shit. He said my last video was cancer. Goes off on it for about 30 fucking minutes. Turns out he didn't even fucking watch the video anyway. So he was yeah, just talking absolute yeah. bollocks. Wait, wait, unusual. wait, wait. Was that, does that mean I'm a bad person? I thought that meant I was a good I just person. Think, I, I just honest. think, I just I think like... blocking people is childish. It completely fucking is. In fact, I had, I had a beef with Chubbs not too long ago because he's, he's shit talking me behind my back and it gets back to me. Everyone in the fucking commentary community just likes to brag about how they know shit. So I called him out for it privately. I got mad at him, and he he comes to me with the old sad sob story, like, "Oh, I'm sorry, man. I just want to be your friend." And I replied with, uh, "Listen, dude, I, d- I don't want to talk to you about it. You you piss me off. Just leave me alone." 
And guess what he does? He blocks me. He blocks me on Twitter, then unblocks me so that I'm not following. I then have to re-follow him. And then he sends me a Skype message three days later saying, hey, can we talk? I don't want us not to be friends. I think Pyro probably has fucked up, like, recently. He probably has, but, With like, what? who? I don't watch him. Neither do I, so you can't say that he's I don't, fucked I up. I don't watch him. I don't watch him. I'm just taking a wild guess. So give an you know? example. I just, give a fucking listen, example. I'm taking a wild guess that he fucked up because I know when he made that video on me, he, like, literally lied and manipulated it all the way through it. Like, so, it, I mean, it was deliberate lies. Yeah, so, probably like, I clown. Just... Probably. He probably made a mistake. Yeah, but do you, do, you, do you actually watch Pyro's content? Do you? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Uh no you don't. Uh, What's the last video? What's the last video you seen from him? What was the title? Well, why the fuck would I remember that? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Nobody watches nobody watches that fat face fucking. Yeah, only a few. Yes, they do. People. He gets like a million views of video. He's still like relevant, but he's fallen into this like leafy mentality where he just doesn't involve himself with everyone else and he just reports on his own topics with his own opinions. He doesn't get involved in all the drama. Like the whole Chubb situation, like I bet you he didn't say a thing about it because he just doesn't want to get involved. I'm he's I'm actually looking it up right now, just I'm just wondering. because I, I honestly don't know. Uh, okay, so on average, he's getting like, uh, I would say maybe 700,000 views per video, but still, that's not bad. Yeah, he's, he's definitely still getting views. All right. So I don't know. I don't watch his stuff anymore. I really don't. I, I find his new stuff to be actually worse than his, his old yeah, stuff. Yeah, who knows what to believe. I mean, you lied about watching my last video. No, no, that's not true. What happened was, is when your new video came out, I didn't focus on it. I was distracted or something. I didn't take it in the right way because I just saw that video as shit. And then when I rewatched it, after I criticized you and I rewatched it, I realized how brilliant it was. So it wasn't that I didn't watch it the first time. It was that I just, I must not have been well, focusing well before on you the overall point before you go out calling out pyro saying he's probably made a mistake go watch his videos to make sure before you do that okay no no i just i just said that he's probably made a mistake because he made a mistake on my video well there's nothing wrong with following a bandwagon by popular demand okay mate hey, there is something wrong don't quote me on that i'm sorry i was stupid no when i see another youth commentator is fucked up made a mistake or whatever then i'm gonna call him out for it i'm gonna do that sometimes Privately, sometimes publicly, it depends. Like, I'm Alex is constantly fucking up because, you know, he's brain damaged. I'm gonna call him out for it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say what the mistakes he made were. His DeFranco video was fucking abysmal. I was actually laughing at how shit it was. He was telling people to do their research, like he said that one multiple times with the fucking snake tongue that he has. He didn't do any fucking research himself. Like he spent a weekend on it. You can't, you can't do that much research in a weekend. You just can't. Are you joking? He says people like Kavos are making shit up, then proceeds to do the same fucking thing at least three times in the same video. He just made shit up on the spot. Maybe because of the ether. I, mean, I can't do the fucking voice. There's not enough spit in the fucking world for that. Dude, all his. Have you ever seen a video from his that's good? They're all bad. Well, he makes good points sometimes, but you have to pick through so much shit to find them that honestly it's like not even he, worth he's it. he's he's the generic he's the generic like repeat myself for 10 minutes just to get that time yeah. stamp yeah. if, it, if he was funny then maybe you know it might 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 might, might be worth uh, the listen 10 listen fucking if there's out commentary uh, if there are commentary people of. out there that are good and i stumble on your channel like you're gonna get a shout out because i'm i'm i i i'm sick of the I am Alex's, right? Like I am going to build all the people who did who did Pyro build up that was actually good, clown, other than you. Exactly. Well, so listen, this oh, is what well, I'm okay. gonna do. Okay, El Elvis the Alien. Elvis the Alien, he's pretty no, good. No, Elvis good the Alien is a complete fucking social justice warrior, virtual signaling cuck. I don't like that Anyhow, guy at all. I fucking hate Elvis the Alien. I mean what do you fucking want? He's got an original series, pretty good editing able to articulate his points well, like you can understand what he's saying half the time, doesn't rush content, uh, favors quality over quantity, always looking to improve and try new things, and genuinely makes an effort when he does so. So what more do you really want? He's an example of a good commentator. All right, you know what? Maybe uh, the points that you just made are right about Elvis the Alien. Maybe he... Uh you know, puts a lot of work into his videos and, you know, cares a lot about it and stuff. I just don't like him. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of him. Yeah, you hate everyone. Like, you know, I, I just, I, he made a video on me that was just like so incorrect as well.
Remember when we confronted him? We're like, uh, this is all wrong. And then he apologized and took down the video. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like all these people that I don't like, I don't like them because I personally have been affected by them making videos about me that are not true. You know what I mean? They're wrong. And, and I feel like if you have this type of fan base, right, where people are like looking up to you and listening to every word you say, like you should be held accountable for your words being correct. For sure. I definitely agree with that. Like everyone makes mistakes, like going back to that argument again, you get things wrong in your video, you correct them, which, which is what he did anyways. You make no, too the, many, the, then the yeah. Situation, you, you, the the not... situation with like Alex, right, for example, right? Uh, there are people that watch I Am Alex that like just like they whatever he says is the truth. They believe it to be 100 percent true. Well, it certainly was the you case with I mean? the Franco video. Didn't see anyone I, disputing I, what I he said I feel like there should be a punishment for like getting your shit wrong. Like, but there isn't. There's no like overall ruler on YouTube that says, "Look, man, this guy feeding you this information is completely wrong," and and, and like he he shouldn't be trusted anymore. There isn't that type of fucking like overall god on YouTube that can tell the audience, "Listen, you're getting bad information from this person." And, the, and for some cases, they just never find out that they're getting bad information. And I feel like uh, the YouTubers that don't acknowledge that they get something wrong are so dishonest and they need to be exposed by someone bigger. I think we need to imply to followers that it's okay to question people that you look up to as well. Like people will just blatantly believe anything they say without any regard or any proof or evidence. They'll just, they'll just follow what they're saying. Whereas... Nobody has a problem calling me out on shit and I don't have a problem with them. Well, that, that's a good thing. Well, that means you've got good followers that call you out. I feel exactly the same. If I do something I fucking literally stupid, get I get questioned called out for, for it. Every, I literally get questioned for everything I do. Like this kid that gets scammed by Chubbs. I give the kid $200 because I feel sorry. You're just using him. You're just using him. Like I get, I can't even do something nice to someone without getting fucking called well, out. Well, this was not nobody's no. argument. He was saying, oh, you're using this kid. But by use, he didn't mean manipulate. So it becomes kind of a semantical debate of the word use at that point. Yeah, yeah. But the way the way he the way he said it would no one would interpret it as Keemstar used this kid's, you know, and no one would interpret. They would interpret it in a way where I'm taking advantage of the kid somehow, which makes no sense. Honestly, and mm, I told it, you this yesterday, Keem, if I didn't know you and have all the context and shit, then yeah, I would also think you were manipulating him. Well, what do you actually think, though? I think that you literally used this kid in your video in order to form a kind of parallel between what Chubbs did with Net Nobody, or what you think he did, and what Chubbs has done to this kid by reporting it on uh, not a news show, but basically a glorified gossip channel. And by that, I mean drama alert. Clown, when you die, I'm fucking reporting your death, and that's all there is to it. Don't ever disrespect my show. Fucking deja vu. I'm, I'm just, I just want to read out, I haven't really been involved in this much, which I don't really care, because I agree with everything you guys have said so far. I just want to bring back to the topic of, like, net nobody, this, is, this was his tweet, this is my tweet to calling out Chubbs, um, he said, I agree with your last statement, it's an inexcusable- Wait, 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 wait. Chubbs, read out your tweet first, Okay, and then my read Chubbs, did you just call me Chubbs? I will fucking kill you, To be fair, to be fair, again. you're both fat fuckers whose names start with the letter C, so- Listen, I will Chubb, kill you, Chubbs. Chad, Chubbs, I mean, it's hard, I'm sorry. Chad, go ahead, read your tweet, that what you said. I said, even before recent affairs, I cut ties with Chubbs a long time ago because I knew at first hand that he was a bad person. And when I say that someone's a bad person, know that it's coming from the heart. I said, nothing can justify him taking advantage of a poor kid. A mistake is when you break a glass or, or, or stub your toe. This dickhead planned out and knew right well what he was doing. Net nobody's reply was, I agree with your statement. That's where it should fucking end. It was inexcusable. But, and then always the buts come in. What did Billy do to you to warrant this statement? I, I mean, there's no warrant needed. I'm, I'm trying to bring this to light to make sure that this shit never fucking happens again and that people shouldn't be looking up to him as a creator thinking, oh, he's so smart. Oh, his commentary videos are so great. He makes fun of little Vicky and, and, and all that fucking gay yeah, shit. Yeah, you're not you know? friends with him. Like, you're not leaving that private information. So what's wrong with you having an opinion here? I don't I don't owe him anything. I don't owe him the right to uh, uh, to concealing my opinion on him. Fuck no. You don't owe him shit. Nothing warrants anything. Kim, whenever you do something stupid, you bet the first second I'm doing is retweeting that and making fun of you. Same with Clown and same with you guys. Like you do. I you know do. I do. And you fucking <laughs> hate and you hate it. 
But that's what we do because it's just what yeah. you're meant to do in these situations. If you want to better yourself and people around you, do that shit. Don't conceal it and wait until someone makes an exposed video on it. Own up to what you fucking did. Let people learn from it. And maybe, maybe people around you will give you redemption. Maybe people will forgive you. But in this situation... And you know what? No. You don't owe him forgiveness. You don't owe... Nobody owes... Nobody should say, oh, well, Chubbs apologized, so I owe him forgiveness. If you want to forgive him, fine. But I'm choosing not to because the crime is too fucked up. Scamming a little kid like that? I, I'm i not forgiving him. And if you don't want to forgive him, that's your right. Because if anybody else that did this in this community, if Rice Gum did this, it would be fuck Rice Gum. If it fucking KSI did this, it'd be fuck KSI. If Zoella did it, it would be like, fuck her. Like, if anybody else did this, but because it's somebody in the commentary community, right? They have some type of special treatment? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Well, they didn't do that with Leafy. But in any case, most people aren't defending Chubbs anyway. The only defense I've seen, think, really, is them trying to deflect it onto this fucking kid. Saying, yeah, Chubbs did this, but... This little shit is only doing what he's doing for attention. Like that's the big defense. It's it's pretty it's pretty shit defense. And I, by the way, I think this kid is a little attention seeker. That totally pales by comparison to what Chubbs did, and only works to fucking sidetrack that. It's just fucking pathetic. It's a very poor defense. Yeah, tinfoil fucking earlier today was like, yeah, what Chubbs did is really bad, okay? But Teamstar is just used to this situation because he's trying to drive a wedge in between uh, Nat Nobody and uh, Chubbs because, uh, you know, he wants to get uh, like this, the, he wants to get a bigger piece of the pie for the business. I'm like, what the fuck is this motherfucker talking about? He's literally just making up shit. I'm like, uh, me and Sky does Minecraft, okay? Nat Nobody have no business. Me and Chubbs and Nat Nobody are not in a business. I'm not trying to push Chubbs out so I can get him more of the business because there is no business. We don't do any business together. We don't own any companies we've been, together. We, we've been trying to help. At the Albert. end of the day, Tinfoil Tommy, Net Nobody, uh, fucking I Am Alex, or anyone else out there, all right? Look, the story is Chubbs scammed over a 12 year old. All the other butts don't fucking matter. No justification. Crucify him. Forgive him. Don't forgive him. Who cares? Fuck him.